I am Olga Sinclair from Panama and I am an artist for more than 45 years. My father was one of the biggest, um, greatest artists from Panama, the first abstract painter in Panama. This is my career. I have been an artist for all my life and now I am living in Madrid again. I cannot say that art is a business, although it is a business, but I, I did nothing before that. I, I studied uh, to be a teacher from primary school but the paintings and the art uh, life uh, drove me crazy and I never have done anything else but being a painter. To be an entrepreneur, being an artist, you have to separate both situations. Although, if you don't do that, uh, you can become very commercial and that's not nice. My father always told me that the um, Vincent van Gogh, van Gogh situation, to be suffering in art and to be always you know, struggling with your emotions. This situation, uh, it was a historic situation that it, hasn't, it has to stop. You have to know how to sell yourself, you have to know how to handle your situation about your paintings, about to promote them, and this is very, very important today, to keep the balance between one thing to another. I was raised in a very humble family, my father, the wonderful artist, my mother, a, one, a, a wonderful woman, very, um, very quiet, and, uh, but very demanding at the same time. She was sometimes quiet and sometimes demanding, and she was the one who told me, Olga, to sell your paintings, you have to, to be professional. Don't dress like an artist, don't be hanging the hair and everything hanging around smoking marijuana. Don't do that. People want beat for you. People would think that you are a crazy woman. You have to be professional, well-dressed, and to respect your art, otherwise your career won't succeed. I am alone here in my studio. At the end I will show you my studio, just me and my canvases. So I don't know how to live in a life with entrepreneurs and a business situation, no. I am alone with my classical music, my opera, and painting normally five days per week because discipline is the key of all the successful life. I started painting when I was properly when I was 14 years old. I see it for the first time in a collective exhibition when I was 14 and uh, people love it and I think um, that made me a bit vision about how to handle my life through the years but I discovered that discipline and being organized it was the most important things to be an entrepreneur or to be a business person. I think it was one night I saw the, the paintings of Francis Bacon. I was 26 years old and when I went to the Tate Gallery in London and I saw the Bacons, I could not stop crying all the time. He encouraged me to increase my sizes. He encouraged me to be more daring. When I saw that, I said, my Lord, if this guy can do that, I also can do that. So that's the most beautiful thing that can happen in your life, to have somebody who inspire you and to drive you crazy that you, have, you want to follow this person, to follow this situation to, to change your life. How to do it? How to do it properly? How to handle those sizes? For me, that was a problem, actually, because it's not easy for a young lady to uh, face a huge canvas. It's not easy because the canvas can become like a bull, like a big bull in a jar that is going to kill you, but you have to be brave to make, to, to make the, fr the first brushwork so properly that you don't fail and then you consider that you break the bull and you kill it. <laughs> I feel like I, I am a dreamer. I am like a John Lennon, a dreamer. And when you are a dreamer, your, your dreams are so big that it's difficult to reach them because, I mean, as high as, as they are, as more difficult they become. But when you have that in your heart, my goodness, nothing can stop you. You just follow your heart and you just follow with instincts. And I had a lot of uh, difficulties in the, in the beginning, but uh, for example, when we break the, the Guinness records with my foundation, I say, my good, I did it. 
and that's made you feel very strong and very grateful. All the business can become successful business. And when everybody cooperate, everybody give an idea, everybody say, let's do this, let's do that, in a proper way, and a beautiful way, everything flow, flow naturally, and everything can become the biggest success in life, because if you don't do it, you will say all your life, why I didn't do it? Shit, I'm sorry, this word, but shit, <laughs> I didn't do it. And then you will be regretting the rest of your life. And I don't want to become a person that when I am 19 years old, I say, what, I didn't do this, what, I didn't do that. No, I do everything I feel like I have to. My father has been my biggest mentor. And I don't want to talk about that because then I start crying. My father was somebody so humble, but at the same time, such a good artist. My father had a way to see art, completely different from the rest of Panamanian artists in that moment. And when he came from uh, in Argentina in 1950, he was already very daring, he became very abstract, and most of Panamanian artists were painting landscapes and portraits, things like that. But he was against all odds, like uh, somebody who has a, a big dream. But my mother was supporting him all the time, and she said, Alfredo, do it. Do whatever you want to paint, and don't listen to people. Just do it and you will see, and then he succeeds, and he became one of the most important artists from Panama, in the history of Panama. I see that uh, today, after this pandemic, everything has changed, but it's okay, because we were living a very empty, or sometimes uh, superficial, superficial life. Uh, and today I see the business uh, going completely different, it's like a the new era, uh, digital area and everything is online and all the, the Zoom and the webinar, everything is like that, but it's okay. We have to go through the years, we cannot stay, stop it. You have to be honest. To start a business, you have to be honest. Whatever idea you have, do it and implant your idea, but don't steal ideas from other people because it's awful and it's horrible. I don't like that people sometimes even go to Instagram or all the media, they copy and paste paintings or things from other artists. No, just be honest and put your ideas in a way that you can promote them and you can succeed. But the honesty for me today is one of the nicest things that I have to respect and to say, wow, that's beautiful.